Okay, here's the second video to the quick and dirty. Six coiler. Um, I got a window coil added onto it, and there's my little plumber's tape on the coil here. Um, it's five transistors. Real easy to put together. It's not brain surgery or anything, folks. 200 watts protecting the transistors, so I don't have, or 200 ohms at 10 watts, so I don't burn up these transistors as my masters. And then inside, I've got 10 ohm resistors on each of the transistors protecting them further. Uh, flyback diode from the emitter to the base, and then I've coming off each transistor, turning it DC, charging the super cap. The super cap, I just noticed, since I changed the resistance up, is uh, actually warm. It, it's really warm. So I'm going to have to put this to a battery and uh, take loose the super cap so that I'm charging a, a battery instead of a super cap. The super cap is not meant to uh, handle the power that this thing is putting out. So I'm going to have to change it up a little bit and make my next video. Um, it's, it's close to uh, normal oscillation right now, so I'm going to show you guys a tack reading real quick. Let's uh, play it against there. It's kind of slowing down because I had to spin it up. Um, I dropped the resistance way low. Way, 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 way low. I, uh, I used a 1 ohm resistor to uh, kick it up a notch. And uh, It's funny, when I had it running on 11 ohms resistance on all of those transistors, it, it sped up but there was a lot of heat in my uh, in my coil there, so I had to change the resistance on it, raise it up so it would go a little better, run a little more efficiently. Now I'm putting too much charge in my charge capacitor, and I'm gonna have to change it out for a battery so that I don't blow that capacitor out, very expensive capacitor. So we're gonna just rev up the motor. There's a little one ohm capacitor, one ohm resistor. I'm gonna put it in place of one of the uh, 100 ohm resistors. Listen to it. Do you hear it speeding up? Well, it did. Now let's check it again after I just uh, banged it out with that. See, it, it spun it up, made it go faster, but it, it keeps too much heat on the trigger winding to run at a lower resistance. you got to find a sweet spot for these things. And uh, If you go to Energy Science Forum, and they'll tell you how to build these things. Uh, John Bedini himself will, will recommend what you do and, and give you the directions and everything. Uh, I've got a window coil here. I'm going to try to harness some, uh, some standard just regular old power from it. Not any pulsed or anything. Uh, I'll have my wires hooked up here soon. But what my intentions are is I have another wheel just like this and I'm going to put a drive chain on it. Uh, the other wheel has a chain on it and a chain sprocket and I'm going to get it to run this wheel which is a uh, 20 inch wheel and uh, it's going to look something like that beside it and spin this up and that's going to be uh, usable AC power. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna put some neo magnets on there and see if I can get 110 volts out of that rim. Um, and if nothing else, you know, five, ten amps worth of current, so that way I can, I can, uh, I don't know, kick off some fluorescence or some LEDs or something. Uh, something to just, uh, maybe even, I don't know. We'll see what we can run off of it. How much? current I can play with. Um, but yeah. And then I got my little guy. He's running off a little power supply back there. He's hiding in the wilderness by himself. But 
Yeah, I figured I'd make another video and uh, show you how it's coming along. Um, it's not the biggest Bedini motor I've ever built, but it's pretty pretty spiffy for what it is. You know, I've got a little six or seven inch rim there, and she's, she's cooking. You know, 2,000 RPMs, 2,400 RPMs. She's cooking. I'm gonna change the battery. She's liable to slow down a little bit because it'll be under load. But, uh, I mean, not bad for what it is, you know? Not bad at all. Uh, yeah. Right now, I've got it running off of this guy right here. She's a little, uh, you can read the specs from here. See if you can read the specs. Maybe if you pause it or something, you can uh, see the, the power. It's only using an amp of that. And it says there 2.5 amps at 12 volts. So, yeah, we're right at 30 watts. So, yeah. Uh, there's a... Uh, I guess you can't really call it quick and dirty because I've been uh, working on it for a while now. I got some man hours in this guy. Mounted him to a backboard, so so now I can uh, drive that wheel with it and uh, see how much AC power we can get off of there. Put some oil into it. I recommend uh, this stuff right here. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. This wheel was sitting in the rain. <clears throat> in the rain. And uh, the bearings were crackling and whatnot, making slicing noises. And it's still a little bit of crackling, but it's not near as bad as it was. And uh, she'll obviously run, you know, 2400 RPMs. And I didn't take the, the bearings out or anything, I didn't uh, oil them except for with this. So, I mean, not too bad bad at all. Um, leave comments, questions, anything. Tell me it sucks. I don't care. Thanks.